and welcome to Mossley Farms! I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. My little avatar is, though you know what? It is the season. It is getting there. In fact, you guys, check this out. Not only do we have these amazing new beautiful winter cabbage, but check this out! I did it! I did it! I did it! Whoops, and I'm harvesting it right now. So there we go. Look at them! The hibiscus! But I did it, you guys! Oh, and we can admire that hibiscus. I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna look at that thing and I'm gonna go, You, you hibiscus, we're 30 minutes on that cycle at half intensity, which isn't that, that like awesome, but I'm really trying to get more active and involved in life. Darling and I are like kicking it up, trying to do the vegan healthy thing. Well, we've been vegan for a long time, so, but here's a little secret, you guys. You can be vegan and totally eat crap. <laughs> That's an inside secret. So we're trying to get real healthy and I'm looking at that hibiscus and just glowing with pride over that beautiful, look at that beautiful flower rocking back and forth, back and forth. Glowing with pride because I earned that thing doing several days of running and Zumba and uh, like cardio on the bike that we bought. I'm staring at the bike right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we're really getting into it and like I keep saying it's really silly but this has just been my little goal so we've got we've got this hibiscus that I earned and then over here we've got this little baby pony who's hungry again let's feed the pony hi guys oh and we've got more sheep sheep and let's see I'm gonna feed you up oh, there that's a little goat that's hungry I gotta remember to click on the food icons not on the animals it's so much easier thank you again to whoever it was who told me that oh and look at the little baby it's a miniature horse I keep calling it a pony and I need to get my facts right this is a miniature horse not a pony oh my gosh and look at all this stuff oh yay more yogurt yay and our chicken is ready to be fed oh it's just it's just a great day here on the farm but yes so i'm gonna oh look at that oh that beautiful hibiscus oh and it's time you guys it's time it's time the country fair is running oh my gosh it's a big day i have a lot of really big things to show you guys actually uh we've been redecorating the farm i put away all of the kind of autumn hay bales and i put away the pumpkins i actually helped escort our real life decorative pumpkins off the front porch and into the dumpster because they had just kind of sunken in on themselves so i figured if my real life pumpkins had decided that the holidays uh, the autumn holidays was o were over then so too for my farmville 2 pumpkins wait am i unloading it oh there we go we're unloading the metals look at our happy little animals frolic by look at that pig what a happy pig hi guys our beautiful peacocks beautiful horses we didn't have that many prized animals this time that's okay lots and lots of prized food though oh my gosh oh my gosh look at all that stuff yay i don't think we won though because people are so good at this i can't remember who came in first Ooh, we got a whole bunch of really cool little little rewards though i like that First in cilantro. I didn't even grow that cilantro. I harvested that on someone else's farm, <laughs> but it counted for me. I guess she hadn't harvested it yet. Yay! And so we are at silver, silver metal four. So we can, uh, let's see. We have more visit actions. We, I think we have the same number that we do from last week. But you guys, when you come to visit my farm, get two extra water, two extra fertilizer, and two prized crops. So that makes me super duper happy. I hope you guys uh, can come visit, enjoy. Oh, check that out. The extra coins aren't bad. Yay! Come visit Moss Leaf Farms for more water fertilizer. The animals won't miss it and it uh, won't miss it. And it cleans my yard. And some uh uh cookies there we go <laughs> all right so henriette oh that was really close Lori, look at how close that was Lori. jeez Lori's always just like one step ahead of me it's awesome and leanne was just like out of this world ahead of everybody awesome you guys awesome so there we go so the country fair is over there's a lot of stuff going on it is not yet time for the next co-op um so, the, but, oh my gosh, Lori, I think, is leading in the co-op. Shintaro has completed, or look at us go. We are just moving it and grooving it. Yep, Lori is leading in the co-ops, too. She is just burning through this. It is amazing. We have definitely knocked this out of the park. Look at Julie. She's tied with me, too. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up with Lori. Oh my gosh. But I'm so excited, you guys, because we are on our way to Sweet Pea, or we're serving Sweet Pea. What? Okay, well, we were serving Sweet Pea. We're on our way to Apple Creek, it seems. Yay! 
she's so happy. So the co-op is going great. I have a hibiscus tree. We're gonna water it right now because I'm in love with it. Oh, beautiful. And we get to keep this hibiscus tree forever and ever and ever. So that makes me very happy. All right, gonna harvest all these up. Thank you guys so much for the special deliveries. It's so much fun to get special deliveries from you guys. But yes, as you can see, we have been sprucing up the farm and trying to make it look a little more winter. So we've got the, the Strattenbergia flowers growing. We've got the winter cabbage, which we actually need for our lovely Marie. Mayor Marie here actually wants us to tend the horse stable two times and harvest 30, um, 30 red cabbage. So we're working on that. I made her a braised red cabbage. Holy moly. Soup, soup, soup. It was all about soup yesterday, making a bazillion like onion soup broth mixes. My gosh. Uh, let's see. And then oh, our co-op needs help. We'll get there in a second. We have completed two of the things this week for the love seat to get closer to helping that little orphan otter. We gotta help that baby otter. Oh, Poor little thing. So what we're trying to do right now is finish up uh, Walter's quest one way or an otter. I love whoever does the writing for the Farmville 2 stuff. Sometimes it is so spot on. I love it. Like you could just be lame. You could just like write a really simple description, but they go all in and I love that. It's just so much fun. It's slippery work in the water, but we need to get busy chopping. So Walter seems to really be taking over for wanting to actually get the tree out of the water, which is kind of like the important thing. But it was really sweet because Barbara was also handling things to make sure that, see, she, I think she and Walter are together. I think I'm getting, 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 kind of getting those messages because she's like, oh, look, Walter's getting all wet and cold in the water. Quick, make tons of soup and delicious things for him to eat after like they chop that tree up. So we're working on chopping said tree up. 11 pairs of rubber waders. Well, we have a bazillion rubber all the time. So that should really help. Uh, the tricky part is that we're so low on wool and we're having a very hard time uh, getting anywhere with wool. So there's four pairs of rubber waders. But yeah, see, look, no wool. It's that hard for us to get wool. So we're gonna be probably raising an entire flock of sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Let's raise an entire flock of sheep. Let's do it. And then we also need to make, um, for Marie, otter than a pepper patch. <laughs> the puns, I swear. Speaking of red tape, the town council says anyone who chops a tree needs a license. What? What? Good grief. Okay, so we got the lumberjack licenses. We fertilized 20 strawberries, and now we need to make strawberry lemonade for the volunteers. Um, and... I think the problem there is that we're out of lemons or strawberries. I'm trying to remember. Got some strawberries, probably not enough. All right, I've got a few lemons. I think we needed water. So let's go ahead and see if we can finish that because it's more fun finishing these things with you guys. All right. Aw, and lemon water is like one of the first things you learn how to make too. It's so sweet. Oops, we're out of, we're out of regular lemons. Do we have any heirloom lemons? Ooh. It's gonna be close. Can we get there? Ooh, I don't know. This is the last one we've got. <gasps> we're gonna need more lemons, you guys. How close were we, Marie? Oh, wow, we're not even that close. We still need six more. Six more, so I don't know if we have any, any lemon trees anymore, because I think they all became elder. And the heirloom lemons, I actually really wanna get our paws on. Oh, what's going on over here? Nope, those banana trees, I swear, they take forever to, to become elders. But we want to get our paws on lots and lots of heirloom lemons because you can make this heirloom white pearl cream using the heirloom lemons and it sells for buku bucks. Look at that, almost, it's 40,000 coins. So we're trying to work on getting that to, hmm, hmm. So let's see. We're gonna need some lemons. We'll have to work on that later. I think right now what we're gonna need to work on is the sheep, like getting a flock of sheep. How many more animals can we have on the farm? So we can have quite a few more sheep. So I think what we'll do is I'm gonna raise as many baby sheep as possible. And you guys tend to send a lot of baby bottles when I request, so that's great. Oh yay! Look, we're maxed out on baby bottles again. So we can we can start by growing this baby sheep up. Let's just have a ton of sheep and like build up a giant stockpile of wool and that should definitely help. And let's feed all of our other animals. Oh, and then there's one more event. I am telling you guys, there's always events going on. Things are just not slowing down here on the farm. Share the baby bottles with friends. There you go, friends. All right, 
feed the little sheep sheep and gather up the little fur there we go but yeah I'm telling you guys holy moly so many different events going on right over here the newspaper the Farmville beacon is letting us know that the weather report is calling for snow farmers are advised to collect supplies and prepare collect six peppermint scarves to shield against the cold and we are one peppermint scarf away from completing this weather report so I don't know if once we complete it it means that it, there's gonna be snow because if there is that'll be so cool so I'm really excited preparing the farm for winter that way Oop, one second guys <laughs> So sorry, my friends, that normally never happens, but it was a call from the wonderful Darling. And, and well, you guys know how much I love Darling. So, back to work. As you can see, we have collected six maple, uh, I have no clue what that is, twigs? I guess they're little like hats with the little flaps, little flappy hats with little pom-poms on the top. So we collected those. It makes me wonder if Farmville is based out of Canada, actually, because I'm looking at the little maple leaf and everything. And we have fed the five adult goats to make milk for hot cocoa. So we are ready. And I don't know if that means that we are going to have the snow show up pretty soon, as soon as we get that sixth peppermint scarf. So we're going to have to see about that. And there is new crops, trees, limited edition animals coming up, as always. It's just so much fun to see how awesome all of the new events are all the time so we've got the snow coming oh the co-op needs some help oh we can donate rubber here you go hunter I've got lots of these things to help out with there you go and today is actually Thanksgiving there we go there you go happy Thanksgiving there and now, let me see, let me see. Oh, just so many things to do. We're still working on opening up this chest, but that's not really like an essential thing. So we're doing okay there. Yeah, we already checked on all of the little orphan otter things. And then, so Walter here, I finally figured it out. To get that tree quest finished, we had to harvest people's trees. And I never harvest people's trees because that's like something they can do themselves that doesn't cost any energy, doesn't use anything for them. I always like water or fertilize or speed grow trees, never harvest them. I accidentally harvested a couple trees and suddenly it fulfilled that quest requirement. So if you guys get to that part of the parading around quest, remember you have to go harvest someone's trees, not like water them or tend to them in other ways. You actually have to harvest them to fulfill it. So that's done. And he's going to have to sit and just wait because uh, we don't have enough pigs for the mud wallow to be run just yet so this isn't a quest that has a time limit so he's gonna have to just sit there and behave for a little while um, we do have the otter quest we're gonna look at that in just a second and then we've also got I know there's so much going on we've also got darling and darling to get the family hammock so he can lay down because he's always taking naps everywhere so to get the hammock so he can look, look at him oh, I, oh he's hugging Lily I thought he was gonna lay down just then and take a nap I, oh there he goes <laughs> so to get the hammock for him to take a nap in we need to get a ton of horseshoes in the next few days so I'm gonna try because all of these need horseshoes the trowel the rubber tire the hard hats how are we doing on horseshoes? We did just feed the horses. Heirloom trowel. Uh, we can get two more trowels. Two more done. But we need more and more horseshoes. It's just so much. So much of it's needed. So we're working on that. And then let's see. Where, oh, where are we? Yeah, not worried about the co-op stuff. And then Lily has four days left for the family seesaw and we're still kind of working on her stuff. We need more wool again ah, and the white pearl cream. So we need more, um, we're going to need more of the lemons. So yeah, see, there's just so much. <laughs> I get so distracted because there's a hundred million things to do. So we're trying to expand to over here because I think that that would help to get all this crafting stuff kind of scooched over. Then we can make like a really cool lemon orchard or something. That would be really fun, actually. Like a, a really lovely little fruit orchard. Um, a few of them, in fact. We could probably put like a little four square of the groves. That would be really cool. So we're working on that. And then finally, let's see, let's feed these guys real fast. And then finally, my friends, we are ready for the otter. Are you guys ready for this? Because the otter slide is I think ready at least the first phase of it I'm not sure how many things we have to do to earn the baby otter but we have built the otter slide okay, I'm gonna harvest these up real quick there we go 
We've built the otter slide. We have collected three otter treats, and now we're gonna make the final fish mobile. I knew that, that we were ready to do that, so. All right, all right, got it. Just enough, just enough. Got it, we've made it. Baby otter is here to stay! Congratulations, the baby otter likes your farm. Place its slide on either land or water and watch it play. Yay! So we just adopted the baby otter. Oh, what should we call it? Oh, 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 oh. Barbara, Barbara, I got the baby otter. You did a great job. Look how happy the little otter is. Yay! I'm so glad you have adopted him. He's going to have a wonderful life here. Aww. Yay, so we have a baby otter now. Does that mean we have to give him baby bottles to grow up? What does he do? I wonder. <gasps> Come here, little guy. Come here, I can put your slide in the water, it says. Hang on. Oh, I wanna feed him baby bottles. I need more baby bottles. All right, and then let's put the duck nursery away because we're not raising any ducks for a little while. And then we'll move these a little bit. Yeah. My friends, help! More baby bottles. Oh, he's making little chirpy noises. That's awesome. And then let's move the slide into the water. Like that. Oh, that looks really good. Uh, maybe scooch this over a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's a double favor. Got the double favor. So now, let's pick him up and put him in the water. There we go. So we've still got to feed him a little bit, but we have adopted the baby otter. He is now part of the family. <gasps> Look at him lay in the water. Oh, and he's rubbing his little cheeks. Oh, I'm in love. What a cutie patootie. Okay, I cannot wait to get the baby fed more. Like, I kind of want to keep him a baby, but I'm excited to see what he does as an adult, too. Because I wonder what he drops. Like, what does he, does he do anything? Does he bring us fish? Can, like, I don't think you can adopt the baby otter, like, from, from here. I think you can only earn him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Smooth coat otter. I saw it. <gasps> we can get more than one. Oh, my gosh. What is that? He collects clam shells, are you kidding? And mussel shells, that is so cool. And you can adopt more of them? Oh man, there's so many things. I'm gonna work myself out till I pass out to earn enough, enough farm bucks for everything. It's just so cool, oh my goodness, this is awesome. All right, so there we go, my friends. Holy moly, so much going on, so much going on. Whoops, no, don't water that tree. Don't water that tree, I need that water. It's precious, precious water. So really quickly, my wonderful friends, we are going to go ahead and harvest everything up in our farm. So many quests. It's just so difficult to like kind of keep a handle on how many different quests there are going around to do. Because there's so much. Yay, we have the ingredients to craft walnut pinwheels, which we need. And we, we keep running out of money because I keep adopting everything under the sun. Yay! One of Lily's tasks are complete. Wait, wait, Lily. Ah, it's not showing me her tasks. That's okay. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. We can finish one of Marie's tasks in just a second, too. Pretty sure. There's that, there's that. A bazillion. Oh, yay! First grow bonus. Sweet. Bazillion and a half of those. And these. Oh, I'm so excited. We've got the hibiscus. I mean, today's been a really busy day. Gonna attend the wab rab the wabbit warren. We're gonna attend the wabbit warren, guys. <laughs> but it's just so fun because there's so many little quests. It makes me want to write down like a whole bunch of little quests in my own life. Like, okay, do this, do this in this series. Though honestly, I tend to do that already. All right, collect all the golden fleece. Gather these things up. Let's see. Oh, is that a new? What, who's prized over here? You? I didn't realize we got another prize buffalo. Well, we're gonna feed him and then tuck him uh, back into the pri or the field then. All right, come here. Gotta feed, oh, that's so much easier. Thank you so much. It's so much easier just to click the feed bubbles. All right, come here, you. Mr. Buffalo, I don't think you're, are you prized? Let me see. I guess you're prized. Well, I guess he can stay here till I need more space for more baby sheep sheep, because baby sheep, this is a game to definitely help you have to think about prioritization, because. <laughs> It's like there's just so much. All right, I think we need more sheep for wool because wool is needed for a lot of the quest and we need more horseshoes. So we'll just kind of focus on those things for now. The goats hungry? Nope, goats aren't hungry yet. 
I tend to forget about the goats, so they, they end up getting fed last, and so they're usually a little bit behind everyone else. And I need more chickens. So we're working on a whole bunch of things. We're going to raise a ton of babies. All right. Oh my gosh. We are, are you kidding me? We are one cabbage away. One cabbage away from finishing that. We're just going to speed grow a cabbage. Come here, cabbage. Are you kidding me? All right. Come here, darling. All right. Now fertilize it. Good job. And now we're going to speed grow it. No, don't take a nap, darling. He's taking a nap in the cabbage, you guys. Honestly. That's why we need the hammock. We desperately, darling's napping hammock. Quit horsing around. You've got to the horses just in time. Let's not forget how other the other animals now. Wonderful. And what's our last quest in that little quest link? There we go. I just saw old Corny in a tizzy. He was grumbling about your pigs. What happened? Feed four adult pigs. Fertilize 20 onions. Make two bags of vegetable peels. <laughs> a peel for mercy. Oh my gosh, I love the puns. I guess your pigs were so hungry they all ate all of the peels Corny was saving for his vegetable stock. Oh, we've still got a few more things to do in this little this little event too. And we are finally finishing up helping out the awesome Billy with his scarecrow contest, which we need to harvest four apple trees and we need to tend the sheep shack two times. So one more time, I think we should be able to finish up his little thing. How much longer does he have? I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh, hey. Goats are hungry. Like I said, they're they're normally just a little bit behind everybody else because they're down in the corner. All right, well, you guys, I think I've talked to your ears off enough with how many dozens of quests we are constantly juggling. It's kind of fun to have to manage all of the different things. Oh, let's see what our friends want to do, actually. Night Wars, you want to tend to this? Well, guess what? I was just told that we need more onions, so hang on a second. I'm going to plunk some onions down, and what's going on over here? Ian, what do you want to take care of, my friend? Yeah, go ahead. Go for it. Animals and whatnot. Let me fertilize these onions. Ooh, let's get the fertilizer out before people start feeding the animals. Because it looks like we need more fertilizer. Or, or we, we have to use up our fertilizer, I mean. When you have 95 fertilizer, you're just gonna waste it. Oh, well. <laughs> Ian's helping to, to fertilize some of those fields. Alright, Night Wars. Go for it, sir. <gasps> He's gonna speed grow our hibiscus tree. I'm so excited. More hibiscus. And then we, we need to see what we do with the hibiscus later, too. That'll be fun. <gasps> it's speed grown! I'm so happy! Lily! Oh, she's running with her hula hoop. Oh, what can we do? We can craft a an heirloom hibiscus. What? What? Heirloom hibiscus trellis. <gasps> it's so pretty! What else can I do with them? Are you gonna tell me? It just says heirloom hibiscus trellis. Let's go buy <gasps> heirloom hibiscus soap. Okay. And then, are you going to tell me anything else? Heirloom hibiscus potpourri! Why does it need glass? I wouldn't want glass in my potpourri. <laughs> That's so odd. Okay, so the potpourri gets you 6,000 coins. The soap gets you 7,000 coins, but it uses 16 hibiscus at a time versus 8. So, eh, you kind of get a little bit further if you have the glass on hand. Or if you have, ooh, look at that. So this uses, this is 8,000 and uses eight. So yeah, it's much better to make the trellises cost effectively. Oh, I wish we could put those. Those are probably things you can only sell, but I would love, love, love if those were things that we could put around the farm, even though it's not very wintry. All right, let's harvest those up. See what else our awesome friends are doing over here. What's going on here? Rihanna, hang on. I'm gonna wait till those uh, those cranberries finish growing, and we'll put something a little rare over there. What's going on here? Jessica. There's lots of stuff going on actually. Hmm. All right, and we're out of food. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to take care of those. It's just kind of organizing what we need for the next quest. And let's go visit our farmer of the week. Remember, guys, go be friends with our Farmer of the Week. Link in the video description below. Deanna, let's go see how Deanna's farm is doing today. It is the last day of Deanna being Farmer of the Week, and then we have a new Farmer of the Week tomorrow. Yay, I'm so excited. If you guys want to participate in that, you can go to our community Facebook group. I post there now and then to let you guys know it's almost time for the new Farmer of the Week things coming up. And I think we're going to feed animals today. All right, let's dive in here. Let's feed some animals. Oh my goodness, so many animals. I'm trying to get to the horse. There, I think I got the horse and all that. There we go. 
But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. It is so much fun to share all of the silly little quests and all of the events and adventures that are going on in Farmville. It is constantly, constantly updating. So next time we'll have to see if we have some snow and I'll have to see if I can grow that baby otter up so he can start collecting seashells for us. Wouldn't that be so cool? And I'm gonna work on getting our little flock of sheep going too. So thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I love sharing this. I love sharing your farms. I love seeing what everyone does together as a community. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.